Throngs of Londoners marching through the center of the British capital to commemorate Imam Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, brutally murdered in the Battle of Karbala 1400 years ago. Similar processions in the rest of the UK and the world to mourn him and his 72 companions killed along with him, among them members of his family. Their crime, standing up to the tyrant of the time, the Caliph Yazid. It was a tragic incident that happened many years ago, but the moral stand that Imam Hussein took has transcended time and space. Its reverberations fell through generations, and this is proof of it. Many generations later, men, women, and children flagellate themselves to identify with the suffering of the Prophet's grandson, a man of morals who strived for social justice. Imam al Hussein salam, represents all of the martyrs in all the world throughout human history and planetary geography. For me, he represents justice, bravery, and sacrifice. His story is an example to, um, to mankind um, as he stood against oppression and um, injustices. And it's not just the more Like every other Muslim nation in the world, Afghans passionately mark the 10-day mourning ceremonies for the martyrdom of Imam Hussein and his companions. Tasua, which falls on the 9th of Muharram and is devoted to Imam Hussein's half-brother, Abu Fazl al-Abbas, drew hundreds of mourners to one of Kabul's old shrines. Attendees listened to clerics' speeches regarding the Battle of Karbala and beat on their chests. This year, we are marking Muharram rituals under the rule of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. However, our processions are more crowded, passionate and prosperous than previous ones. You know that Muharram is not only related to Shias, so we have our Sunni brothers taking part in ceremonies and services shoulder to shoulder with Shias. We Afghan girls share the grief of Karbala tragedies with Zainab, Imam Ali's daughter. We are all sorrowful on this day and remember the suffering and bravery of our role model, Hazrat Zainab. Today, we live under the flag and our hijab shows that we are her firm followers. On Ashura, Afghan Muslims shut their businesses and take a day off to pay tribute to Karbala martyrs. They say prayers and hold charity events. This year, despite security threats, they took part in mass mourning ceremonies alongside Taliban officials. Today is the martyrdom anniversary of great and respected Islamic figure and the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. I offer my condolences to you. Hundreds of mourners march through various streets wearing black and reciting elegies in honor of Imam Hussein, who along with dozens of his household members and loyal companions were martyred in Karbala in present-day Iraq. The martyrs here said this is a time for sorrow and self-reflection when one commits himself completely to the morning. They said the morning and the reflection of the tragic events at Karbala are intended to connect to the suffering and martyrdom of Imam Hussein. This very day martyrs of Muharram is the day of sadness, is the day of agony, is the day of shedding tears, shedding tears to all Muslims. The reason is that uh, in, the, in the field of Karbala, Imam Hussein was being brutally, was being mercilessly killed by Umayyad leaders. The mourners also engaged in chest beating as the procession moved around the town in the hot tropical sun. The mourners said Ashura not only signifies intense grief for Imam Hussein, but is also a motivation for resistance against injustice in the world. Imam Husseini has submitted his life entirely in order to save Islam. And that is what Marlin Ibrahim Zakzaki of Allah is calling for. That the entire Muslim, and even non-Muslim, even Christian, let us gather together to fight oppressors, let humanity and then justice be in our nation. Many of 